Hello and welcome to History Raiders. Coming up on today's show, we'll be sticking it to the French at the Battle of Agincourt. Rob Duke will be here and finding out a little bit about his great-great-grandfather who fought the Zulus at the Battle of Rourke's Drift. And as always, we've got your History Raiders fact file, where today we'll be looking at the Sudanese campaign. But first of all, I'm heading off to the Highlands of Scotland, where I'm going to be looking at the final battle to be held on British soil. Yes, it's that old rivalry, England versus Scotland, and the Battle of Culloden Moor. Here I am outside of Embankment Underground Station, one of 270 underground stations in London. Today what we're going to be doing is looking at the 150 year history of the London Underground. We'll be taking to the tunnels to look for those World War II war rooms and Winston Churchill's secret and private toilets. We'll also be taking a steam locomotive into the tunnels for the first time in 50 years and we'll be getting macabre as of course we find out about the Black Death and the plague pits buried deep under Old Gate Tube Station. Between 1975 and 1979, The Runaways released four studio albums and one live album. Now that's not bad average for any band. However, this wasn't just any band, this was the first all-female hard rock group. The story of The Runaways is one of infighting, drug addiction and abuse. With no less than six bass guitarists leaving in that four-year period alone, how on earth did Joan Jett rise from the ashes to become rock and roll royalty? So here I am outside the Playhouse Theatre, ready for my audition, which is coming up in 30 minutes' time. Now the nerves are setting in just a little bit right now, but remember my challenge, to blag my way onto a West End show. Remembering all the confidence techniques I've learnt, and all of the dance moves I've learnt, hopefully my challenge will not be in vain. Remember, if they rumble me at any point, then my mission is over. Well, here goes nothing. Wish me some wannabe luck. I'm going to need it. So, if you're coming to an end of a relationship, there are a couple of simple tricks you can try. Number one, apologise profusely. And number two, imply that it's not you, it's me. But we all know this tired old line to be a little bit of a lie because sometimes it really is them. So, a recent survey has shown that 59% of relationships have broken up because of the other half. Now, there are some strange results involved in this. For example, some men have claimed that they had to break up with their girlfriend because they were beating them too many times on the Xbox. And in fact, women are just the same. They've even said they've broken up with their man purely because they like EastEnders. And that is a definite no-no. One man has even come forward and revealed that he had to ditch his girlfriend because her granny kept giving him the eye. 